Hello, welcome back to Friend Bo. I'm on the home stretch, I feel, feel. Um, even though I'm not quite there yet. Um, last time I made this doofloche. Um, that's supposed to wake up something. I forgot uh, exactly what it was. Um, I need to get in this door. Uh, which means I need a key. Obviously. Which should be somewhere? Um... I'll admit, it's been a couple of days since I played. I wasn't really feeling well, so... Um... I stopped for a couple of days. Oh, I needed to get the key from this, uh... thing. So I need something to allow me to... get it. Surely there's something somewhere. There has to be something and something, some form or fashion, that allows me to get it. Like a rod, a pole, um, something. What do I have on me? A knife, a picture. Do I need to cut the tree and get a piece of it? Um, uh, do I need to break something? Oh! That's a talking tree. That's cool. Excuse me, is somebody- is somebody down there? Yes, I'm some- I'm a somebody. Hello, have you seen a black cat? No, I have not seen a cat. But I do see a black thing eating from me. Eating from you? I think it's a Kamala. Are you alright? No, not really. I feel very ill. I feel sad. I'm able to do something. I'll get rid of the Kamala once all by myself. Really? That sounds promising. I'd love to be happy again. I'll see what I can do. Don't worry. Um, they hate water. And I remember I have water balloons. Goodness, I missed. Do I have to miss? Yes, I did it. Goodbye, Kamala. Rawr. Wow, I don't feel the sadness anymore. Thank you. Don't worry, I'm happy that you feel better. I do feel it. Let me give you something in return. Oh, a stick. I need that, actually. There, a piece of me. You can plant it if you like. Hee <laughs> hee, thank you, sir. I will have to go now. I must find my cat. I do hope you see it. See you around. Hey, I'm pretty sure that allows me to get that key. Otherwise, it would be kind of pointless for me to have that, huh? Um, what room was it in? Two? I think it was this one, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Okay. The thing watching is kind of creepy. I do feel I'm really close to the end, though, which is happy. Um, because I really do want to know the ending of the story. To see what exactly happened and all that stuff. Uh. And I really want to update, um, fantastic. I can reach it now. I have the key. I really want to be able to update my computer to Windows 10 and I didn't want to chance um, a save maybe getting corrupted in the process and considering how difficult this game was I'd hate to stop in the middle right towards the end here uh, something had to my save and I had to do it all over again because it's been a very long time I was I'm, I'm, I'm gratefully surprised with how long this game has been Considering I only paid fifteen dollars for this game. Yes, it's only fifteen dollars and I only paid fifteen dollars for this game. But I literally have spent um several hours. I'd have to do the math. Once I get all the episodes recorded and stuff, I would have the math to see how long it is. I mean I I know I've messed up sometimes, but not too bad. Um anyway, let's see where this all goes. Well, hello. This looks interesting. Creature from above, get out of Akaba's den. You're not welcome. Excuse me, but I'm looking for my cat and I need to wake up Makaba. Just Makaba? Mother Makaba for you, arrogant little infant. And how do you plan to wake her, eh? With the crazy ideas of Cogwin. Cogwin is a nice clockmaker. He's not crazy. Ah, so you know him. I assume you have been to Ith I still can't pronounce that. Horrid place to say. Too dazzling. 
This is exactly where I want to go after I find my kitty. Good for you. Your fragile little mind will be safe there. With all those boring creatures. I'm going now, you wicked tree. My kitty is waiting for me. Hello, great. You look a little bit like there more. It may be. Are you cousin to Remor? What do you, these look like human skulls. You don't scare me one bit. Okay. Sure. Wake up, Makuba. Mother of monsters. Ah, beware of Makuba. Mabuka? Am I doing it? Am I saying it wrong? The awakened darkness rises from the unknown. Oh, I'm sorry to wake you, Mother. Mabuka. It is Mabuka. Uh, but I need a paper from you. Can someone tell me who this creature is? Quite insolent for such a tiny body. Excuse me, but I can answer that myself. I'm Fran Bo, human girl, 11 years old, and I'm very brave, so you know. Human in Mabuka's den? That's amusing. You see, who brought you here? That would be Remor. I think he's your son, isn't he? Did my son manage to enter your head or something? Already. You mean like cutting my head open? I don't think so. Did you drink or eat some type of reddish potion or beans? Beans? My pills are like red beans. So yes, I took a whole bottle. And I cannot use violence against you. The power has been unleashed. I hope you find beneath the ground the truth you seek. Even what power has been unleashed, can you tell me? The power inside you, don't you know? You were selected by the five realms of essential es existence to be the keeper of the key. The five realms of essential existence was created parallel with time. What are you talking about? The keeper of the key? Who told you this? The great Volcus from Primeve told us everything a long time ago. The keeper will be hunted by the son of darkness after feeding from the Red Seed. But you are too young, I must say. Too young indeed to be the keeper of the key. There's something about you. Did something obscure happen to you? I think Remora killed my parents, Mother Mabuka. Can you imagine how it feels? I am all those feelings, friend Bo. I am all the sinister, all the darkness you can imagine. I feed from the tears of sorrow, from desperation and fear. But then how do you... Then you don't care if Remora kill my parents? I thought you were nice. I'm curious about knowing the reason, if that makes you feel better. Now I understand. It's the reason itself, the truth you're seeking. Go on, Keeper of the Key. Be brave now. I'll open my heart for you. Sure. That sounds fun. Kill. <laughs> what? What the heck is this? Um, I like creatures' bodies made out of baby faces. Yeah. You know, somewhere. Do I know you're somewhere? You look something. You took something from me, didn't you, you little thief? Where's my knitting needle? Ah. Did you stab your little friends with it? What needle needle? Oh, you're the dead nurse I saw back in Oswald Asylum. Do I look dead to you? Ah, you little beast. Take a number with you and wait your turn in the waiting room. But Miss Nurse, I don't need medical attention. I just want to find my kitty. Take a number and wait. I won't repeat myself. <laughs> number seven. I'm number seven. Can I take another one? I already took a number. I wonder how long I must wait now. Hours, maybe days. I'm waiting for a week now. How long has everyone been waiting? I've been waiting like a month. Oh, good lord. But I'm number two, so it must be my turn very soon. I'm waiting for, th for three and a half weeks. Totally hopeless. Excuse me, everyone. So to make things faster. You must become a doctor yourself. That would be faster. By doing that, you could also help us all. Why don't you become a doctor yourself, then? I can't because I feel very sick. I can't, my... Our eye is blinded. I have this broken horn, you see. I can't be a doctor. I'm a, I must be a patient. I lost my ability to frighten myself in front of the mirror. Well, I'm not sick at all. Please let me go before you, okay? I can't. I don't even know the illness I have. That's why I'm here. 
Hmm. But how... How can you not know? Do you feel pain somewhere? It's a very hard question. Make it softer. How can I make a question softer? That's very strange. Have you tried pulling your eyes off? It helps sometimes. Ugh, enough of that. It's possible to, to talk sensitive with any of you. Of course you can't make any sense of us. You're not the one that sees... You're the... You're not the one that sees it all. Uh, you've only known us for a few minutes. That's very little time to understand it all. That's true. But it'd be nice to, nice to use some common sense. What's common sense have to do with uncommon sense, doesn't it? Well, it helps to better understand each other. We do understand each other very well. With our uncommon sense, anyway. Yes, we actually do. We do respect the differences. But who's the one who sees them all? You mean Mabuka? No, Mabuka knows everything. It's not the same as seeing everything. Now, I want to wait because talking won't make the wait go go faster. Hmm? Alright, thanks you for nothing. I'm number two. It's almost my turn. I won't grow again. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Um, go over find another find an excuse solution. There is a nothing here. I need to look at the So they're gonna display. It'll take air ages. Hmm. What on earth am I supposed to do? So with two, it's almost my turn. Possible to exchange our tickets? I have number seven. No, I need to know if I'm in pain. I need to know what illness I have. What if I find out illness you have? Do you have to give Would you then give me your ticket? Sure. If I'm still here when you come back. I can't speak today, apparently. Loose and I'll tell you apart and eat you. No, oh, do you eat children? Did you know that we children are actually immature? Hey, hey, leave the patient alone now. The doctor will determine the severity of the illness. Don't you worry. Let's wake up again, Mabuka. I can't say her name. No, my dear family. Just give me one bit. Mabuka's drink with you. Blah, 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 blah. Ugh. Whatever you say. Stupid thing. Um, hmm. There's something in here. For sure. For sure now. Um, no. Huh? No. Oh. Wouldn't hurt. You're the crown patient. Um, examine the book. Oh, good lord this thing. I wonder if... Uh-uh. I have no idea. Do I need to try to exchange it with somebody else? Maybe? Is it possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. I'm not interested. Okay. Um, it's possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. If you, blah, blah, blah. I guess not. Possible to exchange your tickets? I have number seven. Uh, that's not too convenient for me. I'm sorry. I don't think that good. I don't know. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Hmm? 
Hmm. Okay, I guess I need to go prowling and see other places. Let's leave this place again. Since there's nothing else here. Um, leave. Can you help me, Mr. I? Excuse me, I need your help. Oh, talking to other people maybe does help me. Uh, of course you do. What can I do for you? Um, can you tell me what illness the creature who has ticket number two suffers? He's in the waiting room, waiting. Hmm, let me see. Ah, oh, see, what I, can, what I see, it's not really an illness, it's just a headache caused by low levels of agony in him. Wow, but is that possible to help him somehow? I need to stick it. Yes, crying all the tears. You can cry until you feel this bottle will do. And don't forget the tears must be caused by real sorrow. Oh, that won't be a problem. <laughs> I'm in a very problem at a point in my life. Thought everything was going to be better when, I, when Kitty and I got home. And now everything is so confusing. Aunt Grace is totally crazy. Talking to her was horrible. I really trusted her. I don't know what to do. My, my Buka said that I was selected for something. But she fell asleep again and won't answer my questions. I need my Kitty. Mr. Minnock's hugs are the biggest comfort in my life. I just want to find him so we can go back to Isteria and be happy. Mr. Iman. Hmm, lovely pain. So profound. Thanks. A lot. The bottle is now full of your tears. Give it to the critter that has your ticket. Go now. Time does not wait for everybody. Thank you. I'll be going now. Sure. If you say so. That should be my solution. Alright. Here. Give me your ticket. Here, drink this. You'll feel much better. Trying to poison me? Ha! Ah, lovely. Let's see. It tastes like the most profound Narcus elixir I've ever tasted before. Give me more! Give me more! No. Leave me alone. You promised to give me the ticket if I helped you. Alright, alright. There you go. Yay. Thank you. Thank you. Your tears are absolutely delicious. Sure, Mr. Whatever you are. Thing. Yay! Number two. Uh, shoo. It's, it's not your turn yet. Yes, it is. Hello, patient number two. We're going to do all we can to save you. Do you have an appointment? Well, not really. You told me to take a number and wait. I'm sorry. We don't help sleep with an appointment. But I'm not sick. I lost my kitty and I just want to find him. I lost kitty. Don't worry. That's a natural reaction of your sickness. You're lucky, though. I mean, you lose our minds instead. Huh. Lucky. How do I get an appointment then? Just call me. Here's my card with a telephone number. Are you insane? She must. But why must I call you? Why can't I make an appointment now? Oh, that would be silly because now I'm waiting for you to call me. Ugh, all right. I'm gonna go find a phone. Hello, phones. Uh, who's got a phone? Ah, phone. I'm surprised I remember these big and round freaking buildings can't do that. Oh, I have to actually punch it in. Yay! I'm calling the nurse. Oh, hello. You told me to call you to make an appointment? Yes, it's Franbo. Um, I'm available now. No, no. Uh, no. You do Yes, I do have a pair of eyes. Really? Okay. Thank you. See you in the middle. Thank you very much. God, that was so lame. All right, let's. I'm having to do stupid run around. I see. I'm having to do stupid run arounds. Anyway, I'm gonna pause for just a moment. Okay, I was getting a drink, so let us give us let us talk to the nurse here. And continue. Hello, patient number two. Do you have an appointment? Yes, friend Bo is my name, and the appointment is now. Let me check the archives. Yes, there you are. The doctor will see you in a minute. Just go through the door to your right. Ah, thank you. Okay, I feel like we're on the last part of this thing. I feel like we're there. Oh, hi. I'm sorry. Did I scare you? You look quite pallid. Phew. Yes, yes. What a nightmare. You look like a healthy human. Oh, thank you, I guess. Now, if you don't mind, I have an appointment. 
I don't mind actually because it's none of my business. Bye, Mr. Floaty thing, I guess. Oh, it's you. You haven't chosen to end your life yet. Isn't the pain you feel enough? You are remorse, aren't you? I haven't gotten the chance to introduce myself properly. Sadly, I cannot be seen in the third reality for, per for long periods of time. I am remorse, the terrible bl black prince of darkness. I know who you are. Don't try to act like nothing happened. Did you kill my parents? Where's my cat? And what did you do to Dr. Dern? I enjoy mercy seeing your suffering dripping from your eyes. I feed from it. You're the manifestation of my desires. I can use you for whatever I want. You are under my power. Screw you. That's not true. Not anymore. I won't allow you to trick me anymore. Tell me, why did you kill my parents? Why? You are assuming that it was I who did such a terrible thing. I saw you that night outside my window. It must be you who did it. You trust your eyes too much. Haven't you learned that human receptors are weak? Your body is fragile, easy to corrupt. It was her. No, it can't be. Stop it. She did it. I didn't do it. I didn't. I swear it wasn't me. Stop it, please. Yep. Who was it, my darling? Who killed your parents? The dull little critter must have suffered and died before becoming a star. He made her do it, though. A little bit different. Get up. I haven't killed my parents. I haven't. The monster who wants to trick me, I know. Everyone is crazy around here. I have to find my kitty and leave. Water? Tank full of water. Good. Do I have to knock it over? I suppose. Kitty! Kitty, my darling, I'm here for you. Are you okay? Are you alright? Kitty, answer me. What's wrong with you? Meow, meow. Why oh, won't you talk to me, Mr. Manat? Please, don't do this to me. Her. Talk to me, Mr. Manat. This isn't funny. It's a place, isn't it? You must get out of here. It's this place, isn't it? You must get out of here so you can talk to me again. Take you to history, my darling. Paltrinus can help us. I promise you, nothing will tear us apart again. Meow. Oh, Kitty, I'll be right back. I must be helped Dr. Dern, all right? He seems in trouble. Strange as for a flu inside. What, what can it be? I don't need this. Live on a brains and heads. What does that switch do? Hmm. What does this do? What is it? House of Pills, can it be? What does this do? Does this kill him? Do I really want to kill him? Probably not. Can I use this syringe on self? No. Uh. Use it on the painting. What purpose? What do these things do? I'm afraid to touch it. Maybe this will wake him up. Oh, it might wake him up, yeah. Might make him go crazy, just like you, little girl. So, awesome. Ah, damn, what was that? Don't worry, Dr. Dern. It's me, Fran. Ah, oh, what? I can see very well. Fran Boser from the Os Oswald Asylum. We were in the cemetery, remember? Fran, what happened? Why am I tied to a chair? What have you done? Oh, I'm trying to help you, sir. The big monster brought you here. We must go. Come on, friend. Monsters, I don't feel like playing games. But it wasn't a monster at all. Just let me help you. But what is she doing here? I thought you chained her. But what I did, I told you she was hard. She's a hard one to tame. 
Do you want me to get rid of her? Get rid of me, Aunt Grace. What are you talking about? Who is this old man? How lovely you sounded just like your mother when she was young. My mother? Do you know her? Who are you? I'm Dr. Oswald Harrison. I know everything about you, friend. Oswald from Oswald Asylum? Yes, friend, the same old man. Why do you know about my mother and my aunt? Well, many years ago, I was studying on mag the magnificent complexity of twin siblings. Lucy and Grace were part of my study. Both let me find the key to success. The key? Hmm. Do you know that your mother and father were murdered? Of course, Remora had did a great job. His power manipulation is extraordinary. What I don't understand is how you can be so calm about it. It was you holding that knife, after all. I'm not calm, sir. I knew it was Remora all the time. But why does he hunt me? Remora's a manifestation of your weakness. A blinded and powerful manifestation of your fears. But why would a monster kill my parents? Because your parents were interfering with my work. But I actually did you a favor. You are suffering. And your pain is connected to growth and strength, friend. Oswald, please, let's just, let's just do what we need to do. And Grace, please don't be mad at me. We're family. Let us go. My kitty and I can find a place to go without bothering you. Please just let us go. Yes, you're right, Fran. I'm sorry for being so hard on you. Come on, let's go now. I don't like you having my kitty. Go with your aunt Fran. Isn't that what you want? Fran, my dear, listen to me. You must know Dr. Oswald only wants the best for you. When Lucy was pregnant with you, he knew that you'd be a very special girl. He told us to take good care of you, but your mother betrayed us. She wanted to hide you from us. She thought we wanted to kill you, but that's not true. Dr. Oswald really wanted to give you the best. But for that, we must allow him to try a little experiment on you. And then everything will be fine? Of course. But there's still one thing we must take care of. This little traitor must go. No. Can I kill her? No, no, kitty. I'm gonna kill her. Can I kill her, please? Come on, friend. Stop weeping. The cat is dead now. But he was my friend. You killed my best friend. You also helped kill my parents, didn't you? Didn't you? How can you live with yourself? I hate you. I hate you. She's gonna kill her. Stop it, friend. Help, help. Please help. Don't you dare touch Grace, you little monster. And he kills me too. I told you this is not going to end well. I knew it was not going to end well at all. Oh my goodness, she's totally insane. Bring her to me. I'll do the experiment while she's still warm. I need to extract the brain right away. Friend, are you right? What have you done with her? She tried to kill me. You were right about friend, Doctor, and she was sick. But she's bleeding. Ta let me take care of her. No, you won't. She's mine now. I've been waiting for this moment for many years now. Looking for the right child, the right brain. Now that I have her, nothing can stop me. Oh. Hello, Edward. Oh, friend. Everything will be fine. Who? Who are you? I'm Edward, the one many children talk about. But, but you're not human. Uh. Edward, you found him. Oh my goodness, stay away from the girl. Leave her alone. Oh, you got the kitty. Yay. Little Fran must be cured. Do you think you can use the same body? Yes, she's not completely gone yet. Here I go. Oh, Mother Mabuka, you took the innocence of this child. Fran is now dead and alive. Wake up in darkness, Fran, and you'll be able to walk towards the light. What happened? Edward, Paltris, my heart hurts. 
Mr. Midnight, how? You're alive, my kitty. I missed you so much. Please tell me something. Fran, we must, we must, we must go now. Go? All right. Dr. Dern, look at this. This is it, Word and Paltras. I told you about them, remember? I told you they were real. See? Can you believe me now? He can... He can't hear you. I think he's in the power of Mabuka now. We really must leave now. But can he come with us, please? He's been really nice to me. He really wanted to protect me and help me. We can't bring him with us, I'm sorry. But we can do to make him make him believe that all of this was a dream. He will wake up and think none of this really happened. But he won't remember you, friend. I see. Well, that's okay, I guess, as long as he's safe. That's very kind. You're finally seeing beyond your own desires. You're becoming one with everything. Your parents would be very proud of you. You really think so? Ah, oh, thank you, Pal Paltris. I still can't say his name very well. He's puppy. Now let's send Dr. Dern home. Marcel Derem Okum Velkum the whatever. Goodbye, Dr. Dern. Let's go now, friend. There's so much you can must see and learn. Hehe, <laughs> that sounds like fun. Let's go, kitty. Yay. I still don't know many things. But one thing I do know. That between guilt and fear, I chose, I choose happiness. Yay! Flying away on the fuzzy... Whatever he is. He's a thing. I don't know exactly what he is, but he's a thing, I'll tell you that much. Yep, that's the end. I knew it was right here at the end. It had to be. It was too close to the end, I could tell. Anyway, I really much enjoyed that. Slightly disturbing and crazy and madness and all that lovely goodness. And this is going a little bit long, but oh well. It's the final part, so I'll just let it be as it is, so. I really did enjoy this. Um, as I said, I like dark fantasy. I like horror, so this being both uh, kind of interesting. I think it would have done a little bit more with... Uh, <laughs> I think it would have done a little bit better if they would have had some voiceovers. I think it would have been nice. I love the proofreading thing. That probably just kills a lot of people to see it. It's intentional, obviously. Beta Squad. Yay for Beta Squad. Oh, I'm so glad I bought this game. It's, 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 worth, it's worth $15. Um, at least. I don't regret buying this game. I don't regret playing it. I probably want to play it again eventually because I really did like it. What does anything after the credits? No idea. Maybe she'll become a tree again. Maybe the, her and Kitty will have a picnic and it one can join and they can all live happily ever after. But yeah, I, I'd figured it a long time ago. It was probably her that killed her parents because it didn't tell uh, if anybody else that it could have been. The only other choice would have been... Um, the only other person it could have been would, would be her aunt or... And that would probably be it. Um... Because there was no other way. I never once thought it was actually Remora, like she thought, that killed her parents. Um, it's either it was her or another human. It had to be a human that did it. And they said it was, they were taken by surprise. So, obviously, it was taken from the near. I mean, if you saw that freaking creature, Remora, you would have freaked out about it. Uh, you wouldn't have just let him cut you to pieces. Anyway. This means it's kind of getting a little bit repetitive. Uh... There's a whole bunch of names that I can't pronounce in this credits. Ha, huh, what? Well, yeah. I really did enjoy the game. Whoever made this, all these people, Kill Monday peoples. Just came out a couple weeks ago, last week. I don't know, I lose track of time sometimes. I hope they make many more games like this. I thought it was really great, greatly made. 
Yeah, it's been great. Anyway, we'll see if there's anything after the credits here. This is obviously the credits ending. And that'll be it. Anything here? Nope. Just the title screen. Well, that's it for it then. And I hope you enjoyed very much. I, as much as I enjoyed playing it, I hope you enjoyed watching it. And I will see you all with something else. Bye, guys. Bye.